All right, so here we are in beautiful Revelstoke, British Columbia. Just pulled into town and we're ready to meet up with the fellows from the Revelstoke ATV Club. Just driving in this morning, the scenery is absolutely breathtaking. I can't wait to uh, get out on the trails with these guys. And uh, we're gonna put these units through the paces. This is our first trip up to Revelstoke with the quad and side-by-side. So uh, we're gonna trust in the fellas with the Revelstoke ATV Club to host us and show us everything that this beautiful place has to offer. How often do you see <laughs> probably like a million, over a million tadpoles? Oh, Look at easy. them. Unreal. Look at that, eh? Just, whoop, I lost them. Aiden, it's better than the turtle. That's a good looking turtle. Yeah, quit scratching you. <laughs> Look at that, eh? It's a little baby frog. Only things you'll see when you're out on your ATV. Gotta hydrate. Fever, fever. It's okay. <laughs> it hasn't killed me yet. Not out of this. Oh, no, no, I know. That's some of the best water you'll oh, ever yeah. have. Yeah. That's it. That's Not out of yours, no. Drink <laughs> out of the other side. Yeah, I know side. where that mouth's been. <laughs> we don't even want to go there. No, exactly. <laughs> I'm just gonna honestly say no. Yeah, that's a hard pass <laughs> from Jay. <laughs> that I'll drink the water. I. That's how we got our water. I'm from New Brunswick. So we're out here in BC and these trails are absolutely beautiful. You see the waters running, creek crossings, my first time here in the summertime and it's absolutely beautiful. As usual, you know, Jay and I are out here giving each other a hard time, busted units and wearing flip flops on quads and cowboy boots in the river. And <laughs> you know what? It's always a wonder to get out into BC, into the mountains and see different scenery. It's a lot different than in Alberta. For us, it's super important to get outside Get out of your comfort zone. That's what SG is all about. Doing things in the outdoors with people that you can have an amazing time with. Oh, jump. Hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing with these logging roads is they dig out ditches every so often so that in the rainy season the water will wash right off the road and it won't wash the road away well unfortunately right here that's kind of what happened so we weren't able to go any further and i have to tell you i'm chicken shit comes to heights and i don't really care for it all that much but i poked my way up here and i'm not getting too close to the edge but i'll have a peek from a little further back so we're going to turn around and head back down. I don't know. Could have been some Breaking Bad stuff going on up here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Something going on. Up on Meth Mountain, all covered in trees, there's a couple of druggies. 
got eaten by fleas. I don't know. We'll see what happens. No bones? No bones. Looks uh looks like they had a wood stove in there too. It's all plumbed out for chimney on the one side. Well I'm wearing flippy so I'm not going in there. Yeah, yeah. I don't need I, I don't need to go in for a tetanus shot again. <laughs> Back Trash. The truck, just park it someplace and then we can go and do our stuff and exactly. then tour. we've got to tow it yeah. out anyway whether we do it now or later. Yeah. Uh, Nobody's going to steal it unless they <laughs> the back of the truck. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. if I'm pulling it'll be at about 15k an hour. We stopped at a, at a bridge and kind of shot the shit for a bit. Went to start the machines to take off and uh, this thing wouldn't start. Maybe we thought it might have been flooded. We pulled the plug, plug's clean. So the Yamaha is towing me back. We're gonna try a couple more things here. Hopefully we can get this thing going and continue the day. Hey, at least this one got over hundred kilometers before we had its first breakdown. <laughs> so we're just gonna pop the panels off to see if we can have a look at the spark plugs. It's kind of par for the course for Jason and I. We like to put everything to its paces and see how things are gonna work out. Hoping maybe we just fouled the plug, maybe got some bad fuel or something like that. You don't want wet, just enough on there. So just moist, moist, just, just moist. moist, moisten it. Were you moistly talking to me right there? Is that what happened? Drink box water bottles, buddy. We uh, definitely did not put gas down the spark plug hole to try to get this to start. We just, we pulled the spark plug to, to check it and see if it was fouled. It appears to be in good condition, so we're putting it back in. Let's see if this works. Redneck ingenuity. All right, all right, fire it up. Four. What do you do? What do you do? Sometimes things break. Seems to be the going thing. Yeah. It isn't all fast cars and new swimming chase. Wouldn't have been a ride without something breaking, right? I give up. Oh, well, that's almost every unit we have. That is, that is broke. That is broke. 2012 and newer. Almost one. every unit we have broke. Yeah. Every single one's been down. so that's it for day one no luck on getting that renegade fixed up to get it back on the trail today kind of looking like a fuel pump issue we're not getting any fuel into the head so we got it loaded up we're gonna take that back to the dealership and get it fixed up and get all this dust knocked off of us it was a really dusty day surprisingly enough the trails out here are actually fairly sandy and silty it's not a lot of rock and shale that you expect when you're up in the mountains so good thing we've got extra units available to us We'll be back on the trail with the fellows from the Revelstoke ATV Club tomorrow. So we're gonna head down to the river and grab a dip, come back up, have some dinner. Oh, I can't lay down again. Oh yeah, you can. I'm cold already. Oh, you can do it. Come on. Come on, get that shower. Good for the boat. Sand 
All right, so Camp Chef runs a little hot. So things like this happen very quickly. Fortunately for us, I came with another package of pork chops. So we're gonna have pork chops tonight instead of chicken. And I think everybody will be okay with that. Can't say enough about the folks up here at uh, Pinnacle Resorts in uh, Revelstoke. Amazing facility, hosts have been excellent. Revelstoke Ace TV Club. A couple of the members were gracious enough to take some time out of their schedule today to uh, take us out on a tour. Uh, it wasn't a club ride, but you know what? We still got kind of the club ride experience. It was fantastic. A lot of beautiful scenery. Checked out a lot of rivers and creek crossings. Uh, learned of a few honey holes to go fishing for trout. So uh, maybe make a trip up for trout in the spring next year. But uh, yeah. We'll get these pork chops banged out since the chicken's no good and uh, call it a night. Here, piggy piggy. Sweet, tender, juicy pork chops. Got a handle on this. No more burnt chicken. Look at that shit. Who burns chicken like that? guy that's looking after little kids who got mosquito bites that's what happens I love burnt really? I will I'm only trying I'm only trying to make him feel better thing. Gordon Ramsay man I'm not your average chef oh yeah another ice in here too yeah Gordon chived Ramsay oh that is juicy you can't, you can't, it's juicy. You can't always go off of the looks right it's like a good woman peel back that greasy black and you got delicious chicken. Let's <laughs> have a look. It's like an onion. It's got layers. He got a. Uh, he got that grill for Father's Day. Camp Chef works fantastic. That was my Father's Day gift this year. So, super pumped about it. Super pumped about it. Super pumped about it. Missed the lessons. All right, back to it. All right, so here we are again, beautiful Revelstoke, BC. Yesterday with a couple of members from the Revelstoke ATV Club, they were gracious enough half, to take half us a out. Tour. Half a tour. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> so yesterday we had a couple little malfunctions along the way, but we got her towed back and loaded up. It's heading back to the shop. We're excited for today. There's a little bit of rain kind of hovering around us. Maybe it'll keep the dust down. We'll yeah. see. Maybe we'll get wet, maybe we won't. Hopefully we can make it back and not tow anything today would yeah. be nice. I think we're gonna have a good variety of weather yeah. for today. This is a really capable machine. It might not be the sportiest machine in the fleet, but it definitely gets the job done. It's more than capable on trail. It's a super versatile unit. That dump bed and all the other functionality it has for working around the farm is uh, very handy, or the acreage. But when we get it out into the mountains, especially out here in BC, what I found, the environment that these guys ride, this machine actually performs very, very well. Uh, the additional width at 64 inches hasn't hindered us at all. The extra length of the max, we're, we're running at about 14 and a half feet in length. And we haven't got in any switchbacks or trees or anything where we can't get through yet. Back home in Alberta, this machine definitely has its place on some of the areas that Jason and I ride. Uh, but again, in other scenarios, it wouldn't be the one that we would want to take out. 
just based on that additional length more so than anything. What we do like about this unit is that we swapped out the rim and tire package uh, over to a set of 30 inch carnivores and uh, they're on 14 inch rims and they're 10 wides. So we got a lot of extra ground clearance out of that uh, wheel and tire upgrade. These carnivore tires work really well in any train. They do clean out really good in the mud, um, but they roll super smooth on the hard pack and they grab in the rocks really good as well. So overall, it performs super solid and room for the whole family. So we definitely can't complain about that in any way, shape or form. I'm happy to, uh, to have access to it and I'm glad that we put one in our fleet. So don't count it out when you're looking to make a purchase for a new side-by-side -side, uh, to get your family out on the trail. Cowboy boots. Yeah, cowboy boots. Who needs hikers, man? Get me where I need to go. Oh, I just found a blueberry bush, so I'm just gonna load up real quick. Little snack. Little just snack here. There's berries galore. Get them before the bears do. Blair knows the side by sides, but not its berries. <laughs> well, they're good. They're pretty good. All right, well, we just finished up riding day two. Day Rebel two, Stoke. of course. And you know what? Nothing broke. We That's because it was already broke. We saw beautiful <laughs> scenery, waterfalls, creek crossings. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Super, super fortunate to get to be out here and beauty weather day. It started with a little bit of rain and cloud. Yeah. Kind of kept off. the dust down, which was it nice. It did, it was nice. And you know what? Almost ominous in some spots when you're coming up a rise and it's so dark and you can't see. It was super cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely nice. The, the views are just spectacular. Breathtaking. So many places in Canada to go and recreate, but Revelstoke is uh, definitely oh, yeah. a, one of the must stops on our list anyways. Yeah, for and sure. When you're out this way, swing in and see the guys over at Pinnacle Lifestyles Resorts. Check out the, the lodges, the cabins, the campsites. They got uh, tent sites as well, right off the river. Big thanks to the Revelstoke ATV Club members. Uh, we never would have got to half the places we saw without a little bit of guidance. The Revelstoke ATV Club is actually the founding club for ATV clubs in BC. Okay. I think we're around the 75. Okay. And normally we've been up as high as over 100 yeah. in our club. And we've helped a lot of other clubs in the area. Yeah. Uh, get their clubs up. That's one thing we really wanted to promote for people who are within this region. If they're not familiar with your guys' club, they better reach out to you and get involved because exactly. you know what, it takes a lot to maintain all these trails and clear the deadfall from the winter and the springtime so people can get out and ride. And you know, it, without volunteers and you know, club members like yourself to come out and put those hours in, this sport doesn't happen. And you know what, surely there's a lot of people within this valley that are out here recreating and they're not putting the time in to help maintain these trails. And you know what, I think it's super important that they get out and do that. Yeah. Come out in the summer, check it out, check out Pinnacle Lifestyle Resorts, check out the, the club, check out the trails. And exactly. we've and, got just as much to offer in the summertime as we do. Right, and, and people don't really realize that because yeah. it's been hammered into everybody that Revelstoke is a winter, yeah. winter wonderland, right? The course of the last few days, we have found out that that's not the case. All right, thank you so much, gentlemen. All right, thank it's you very much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. We'll yep, catch you again you. next time. All right, yep, thank you. Take care. Yeah. These guys got units that they've put 22,000 kilometers on. Yeah. Like that tells you the type of terrain and the amount of terrain that you can cover in this area. So looks like most of them all upgraded to new units within the last year or two. Yeah. And they're getting up to three, four, 5,000 kilometers already on them, like unreal. Yeah, so they can make 5,000 miles, we can make 50 without breaking something. <laughs>
I think we got the best one so far is eight kilometers and uh, we we left one on the on the trail for a little bit until we got the recovery unit out but you know what hey it's all fun and games yeah no yeah it was a great time We're having a good time yeah definitely definitely a good time yeah we'll be back yep right on for sure all right guys well that's that for Revelstoke. We're going to head home. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Later, Jay. There's no door there. <laughs>